Divers off the coast of Italy today recovered the body of a woman from the wreck of the cruise ship Costa Concordia. We don't know who she is yet, but Alan Pizzi is following the search. The victim was wearing a life jacket when her body was found by police divers in a narrow passageway. The divers were able to reach the dangerously cluttered area of the ship after holes were blown in the hull to allow access. The search has been concentrating on the fifth level, which is now totally submerged, where passengers would have congregated to be assigned lifeboats. Divers also found a hard drive from closed-circuit TV cameras on the ship's bridge, which may help clarify why the cruise liner hit the reef and, more importantly, what the captain said and did before he ran the crippled Costia Concordia aground. In a newly released audio recording from the night the ship sank, the captain on a cell phone told the Coast Guard he would stay with his ship. Will everyone abandon ship, the Coast Guard asked. The reply from Captain Francesco Scatino contradicts what actually happened. I will stay here. He did not, and later refused to go back to help stranded passengers. Now oil is leaking from the ship he abandoned. So far, the leaks appear to be from light fuel and lubricants from machinery on board, rather than heavier fuel oil that would cause an environmental disaster in these pristine waters. As desperate as they are to get the 500,000 gallons of fuel off the ship before it leaks, the authorities maintain the priority must be finding the bodies of the missing. Most of the massive amount of equipment needed to remove the oil is in place, and once the operation begins it will take several weeks, if the weather is good and the ship doesn't shift position. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Giglio, Italy.